Yesterday, the New York Rangers acquired Julian Gauthier in exchange for defenseman Joey Keane. Gauthier is a center and was drafted in the first round, 21st overall, in the 2016 NHL Draft by the Carolina Hurricanes. Joey Keane was a third round pick in 2018 by the New York Rangers, who was having a pretty solid season in the American Hockey League and was actually called up last week just in case Mark Stahl cannot play. With the plethora of defensemen that the New York Rangers have in their organization, a move had to be made. It ended up being Joey Keane who was the piece moving and bringing back a strong big center in Julian Gauthier. 6'4", 227 pounds. He's a center, he's a big center, and he might even play his first game with the New York Rangers tonight at the United Center in Chicago. In 49 games, Joey Keane put up 30 points. In 44 games, Julian Gauthier put up 37 points. And Gauthier actually has played 5 games this season with the Hurricanes. So this is my view on the trade. Joey Keane is a highly touted prospect for the New York Rangers organization. And we have already more defensemen in the system. In my opinion, they moved Keane because he might be the most NHL ready, but not with the highest ceiling. Joey Keane could turn out to be a very good player. I can possibly see that happening. But the Rangers needed to make a move with their defense before the offseason. The Rangers possibly have to re-sign Tony D'Angelo. I felt like we just had this conversation last season. But if they are looking to re-sign Tony D'Angelo, it's smart to go out and get a young center or even a young forward. And that's exactly what they did. I'm not saying the Rangers are going to re-sign Tony D'Angelo. But now that they moved Keane, a roster spot opens up in Hartford for another defensive prospect to come up, such as Nils Lundqvist, if the Rangers are looking to keep Tony D'Angelo. In my opinion, this move was strictly for the future. Yes, Gauthier might step in now for the Rangers and perform for the Rangers. However, I don't think this is a move that they desperately needed to make right now for this situation. It's all about the future with the Rangers right now. Like we're still in that phase where, yeah, we're winning games. Yeah, we're trying to make a playoff push. But the big picture is long term. We are five days away from the trade deadline. The Rangers play Chicago tonight. And it's a big game for a lot of players in the New York Rangers organization as it could possibly be their last game as a Ranger. Stick with me for the next five days. I'll be doing more live streams. I'll be doing more videos about trades. And everything New York Rangers hockey. I'll see you guys later.